Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting video. I am Dr. Frahat Ali and you are watching Dr. Square. In the fourth video of analysis interpretation series, we are going to learn that how we can interpret the, how we can write the results of multiple linear regression tables. If you got those tables from SPSS, R Studio, or any other software, we will learn that how we can interpret or write the results of those tables. If you are new to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. So let's start. So as you can see on the screen, here is multiple linear regression. Multiple linear regression is applied when we have multiple independent variables and one dependent variable. Here the research question is, when taken together, do connectedness, optimism and academic success predict meaning in life? Or you can write as hypothesis, connectedness, optimism and academic success are not significant predictors of meaning in life and our alternative hypothesis will be connectedness, optimism and academic success are significant predictors of meaning in life. Please keep in mind that we normally do not write null hypothesis in our thesis or dissertation or in the research paper. We usually report the our uh, alternative hypothesis in all these situations and you can use some other words like you can say that connectedness, optimism and academic success are significantly related with meaning in life. Most of the paper do not the word use the word of predictors. So you can see your field and use the word accordingly. Here we have model summary table, ANOVA table and coefficient table. Let's start with the op model summary table. In model summary table as you can see two values are highlighted. One is R square value and second adjusted R square value. Adjusted R square value is telling us that our three independent variables are predicting 56% proportion or 56% change in our dependent variable. So if you see R square value is a kind of exaggerated value and it's telling us that our three independent variables are creating a change of 0 0.60 or 60% change in our dependent variable. It means that if you have connectedness in your life, if you have optimism, if you have academic success, you will have 60% meaning in your life. If you see the ANOVA table, this table tells us that whether our model, the model we have made with three independent and one DV is significant or not. We are talking about the model here, not the our hypothesis, whether our null or alternative hypothesis accepted or not. And in the third table, coefficient table, we have to see that which of our independent variable has more weight and uh, which is predicting more to the dependent variable. As you can see the beta weights here, Connectedness has 0.33, as you can say 0.34 value and uh, optimism had 0.47 and success has 0.18 value. So we can say that optimism has more value in meaning in life because it has bigger beta value. Then we have success, uh, you can say connectedness value which is 0.34 and uh, at the last we have success value but the success is, academic success is not a significant predictor because here you can see the significance value is above 0 0.05. So we just have two significant predictors. One is optimism and second is connectedness and optimism has more value in meaning life than connectedness. So how we can write the result of this table? We will start, we have performed multiple linear regression and uh, to predict the meaning of life from the variables connectedness, optimism and academic success. We have checked the assumptions including normality, multicollinearity, linearity and all these assumptions were met. You, there is sometimes you do not need to write all of these assumptions in your research paper but you can write them in your dissertation or thesis. Overall the regression model was significant. We are talking about the ANOVA table. Here the regression model was significant and uh, we have F degree of freedom 326. You can see here 3 and 26. There is no need to report the total value. And uh, then we have F value, then P, which is significant, R square, 
we can get this value from our model summary table and you can also report the adjusted r square value as well with change r square 0 0.560 and next of all the predictors investigated both connectedness beta value t value t degree of freedom and then t value p value and optimism beta t degree of freedom t value and p value were significant Academic success was not a significant predictor of meaning in life because the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So we can say our uh, hypothesis is partially supported. And if you have multiple hypotheses, like if you have made like uh, connectedness is a significant predictor, optimism is, is a significant predictor, and academic success is a significant predictor, then you have three separate uh, hypotheses. In that case, you can write that H1, H2 was accepted and H3 was not accepted. But uh, in the current scenario, you can write it as our alternative hypothesis was partially supported because one of the independent variable is not significantly predicting the dependent variable. So this is the way to write the interpretation of multiple linear regression. I hope you have liked the video. Please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.